Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, today, there are so many things that I wanna do, I, I can't even choose. My plan was to get up early and go into the state park and try to find some eagles, hawks, whatever. And that didn't work out. Now, I'm thinking I could just go around Virginia Beach, hit up a bunch of different places, town center, the Vibe District, you know, the usual haunts, or I could even go to the Botanical Gardens. I don't know what I wanna do. I have a couple of things that I'm gonna be testing out though. One of the things that I have been complaining about a lot is this, the Rode Wireless Go, specifically the transmitter. The receiver, it, it, the, the battery life doesn't go down as much, and I don't understand why, but I can barely get a couple hours out of this thing before it, it's down in the red. So, I tested this last night, one of the many battery packs that I have. And this is a, it's a 5,000 milliamp power brick, more or less. It's nice and flat, that way I can literally put it in my pocket right here and with the cable, plug it in on the side and power it, and or at least juice it back up. So I plugged it in last night to ensure that it does in fact feed power to it. And that's kind of the way I'm gonna go for now. I've been researching microphones and I had thought about going with the Sennheiser MKE 200, which is the, the smaller version of the two new ones that they put out. It's $100 for the MKE 200, the smaller little one, which doesn't require power. You just plug it in and, and, and it works. Or the MKE 400, which is $200. Or I could get the updated Rode Wireless Go 2, which I haven't heard a bad thing about and it comes with a receiver and two transmitters for 300. So I thought to myself, okay, I love this thing. I use it all the time. I've used it literally to death. So maybe I should just upgrade to the Rode Wireless Go 2. So when Adorama gets back to me with the quote, once they receive all that gear, I'm gonna see if I can't wheel and deal and, and maybe get them to give me a good price on that. Cross that bridge when we get to it. But for now, I can, I can plug this in. This is not optimal. I do not wanna walk around with this damn thing in my pocket, but I, I kinda don't have a choice at this point because this just isn't gonna last long. So I'm gonna test this out today, this whole contraption, because I am gonna be out all day recording various things. So what I've done is I put the cage back on, I removed the standard plate because the bottom of this Ulanzi cage has Arca grooves or whatever so it fits. I put obviously the handle back on and then I just put the Rode Wireless Go at the top of the camera. What I did was I took a Ulanzi power grip. It's got 6,000 milliamps of battery. I put like a Joby ball head from a Gorillapod tripod thingy on the top. Also added one of those, you know, little Arca clamp things that I've got a million of. And then I got these ZDO aluminum legs. So a little bit better than the plastic Elonzi ones. Put that all together. I've got a USB-C cable. So now this cable can actually plug into the camera and power the camera, or at least rejuice it if I'm out on a particularly long shoot. Or I can use this to plug into the Rode Wireless Go up here, like the receiver part, and juice that back up. So I'm testing that out. I'm getting a message now, and that's a good point for me to stop, grab my stuff, get out there and start filming, and let's see what we come up with today. All right, let's go. All right, kids, slight change of plans, sort of. I mean, I said I was gonna go all over the place, but the first place I'm gonna go is here. It's Mount Trashmore. So a little bit about this. I've, I've been here before, I've showed you this before. Basically, Mount Trashmore is a landfill. They built over it built this park. It's got a lake on the other side. People come here all the time to exercise, to walk around, just to be outside and enjoy nature and all that kind of stuff. Uh, lots of people flying kites today because it's kind of windy. So yeah, I'm going to take some pictures here because this is kind of pretty. And now if you really want to hear me mouth breathe, wait until I hit these steps. Well, this will be a good test for Catalyst Brows, right? This is going to be seventh era. Don't think, just do. Oh my God, my legs are burning. Holy shit. Okay, that's where we came from. All right. 
Holy crap. I really gotta work out more. <laughs> more. <laughs> I gotta work out at all. Okay, here we go. Here we got some young'uns. I don't know if I want to get too near them because then I might get attacked. Because I can already see mommy and daddy giving me the side eye. But they're so cute. Oh yeah, definitely telling me to Beat it. <laughs> I almost just died. Okay, so I'm back here at Pleasure House Point. I had a quick lunch and took all the desserts and everything home, made a pit stop, and then decided I would come here just to chill. And uh, I only brought my A7R4 with a 24 to 70 just to get some more landscapey type pictures rather than than doing any kind of birding. I'll give that a break this week. How you doing? Hello. You having fun? Yeah. Cool. It's been a long tiring day. I've been all over Virginia Beach filming various things, just putting this camera through the paces and taking some pictures along the way. I got some got some doozies, I think. We'll see what they look like when I get them onto the computer. I have had this a7C now since Wednesday, and I love it. I'm getting used to the weight. I'm getting a little bit better at it. Again, we'll see what happens when I get that carbon fiber tripod, mini tripod on Monday. It, it might jack everything up. It might be too light, because I have said before that I like to have weight, and I have seen a lot of people say that once you start adding weight to the camera, it eliminates that whole jittery mess and eliminates the need for Ibis. I agree with that to a point. It's why the ZV-1 was such a problem for me because it was just too light and I wasn't used to it. But I'm tired and I want to go home and chill, which means I'm not going to go home and chill. I'm going to drive around and do 50,000 errands before my wife gets home from work today. But all that being said, Sony A7C, Sony 16-35 to F4 OS, coupled with all these different contraptions I'm putting together. However, I am going to keep it in the Lonzi cage with the small rig handle, and I'll continue to use this Rode Wireless Go and, and just keep topping it off with a battery brick and go that way until I get something new. So we'll see, we continue to play, you know how this goes. I constantly am buying shit and testing stuff out and trying to do this, that, and the other thing until I get the perfect setup. Ah, so continue leaving me suggestions, comments, I, I, I love hearing everything that you guys have to say. And I've also tried a lot of the things that you guys have, have recommended. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.